New NA10 Slack agent. Want your own customizable AI assistant right inside Slack? I'm going to show you exactly how to build this and connect it using NA10 and it's way easier than you think. Plus, I'll give you the free downloadable template and I'll walk you through the entire setup process step by step. Plus, you'll get my free template link in the comments and description and you'll discover how to connect NA10 to Slack in just minutes. You'll learn the exact API settings I'm using and how simple it is. Today, I'm going to show you how to link Slack to NA10 so that you can basically have your own AI agent directly inside Slack and then you can customize it exactly how you want. So I'll show you exactly how to set this up. Plus, you're going to get the free template inside the AI success lab link in the comments description. And so you can see Slack is connected over here. If you go to our Slack channel, you can see that it says here, hey, automated with this NA10 workflow. And then it links directly to our NA10 workflow that automated this process, right? This is really easy to set up once you figure it out. Okay, so let me show you exactly how to set this up step by step and the whole process. So if we have a look at this particular AI agent, what we've done over here is we've selected a post message node. Now, if you're wondering how to do that, you just add a node, you're going to type in Slack. And then from here, we're going to select actions and we're going to click on send a message, right? So inside my settings for the Slack automation, I've set up a direct login. So the way that you can do that is you can just go to the drop down over here, create new credential, and then you can actually log in with Slack directly. Then in the resource section, you can select message operation equals send. You can select a channel over here and then you can choose which channel you want to post in, right? So for example, let's say from the list inside the message type, we've just selected send message and then you can put whatever message you want. So for example, right now I'll come on to what you would send in a second, but what you want to do while setting this up is you want to go to api.slack.com, right? Then you're going to go to create new app like you can see, and then from scratch, right? So let's say, for example, we want to put SEO bot as the app that we want to build. I'm going to build that inside our space over here. So we're going to create the app like, and now once you've set up this SEO bot, you're going to see a page that looks like this. Okay. So what we need to do from here is we need to go to OAuth permissions. Then we're going to scroll down. So scroll down the page. And then inside scopes, you're going to add a few different settings, right? So for example, for my example, the scopes that we added previously, apps, mentions, channels, colon, join, channels, chat groups, right? And this basically just allows the agent to interact directly inside your Slack. So you can just select the options that you want as you can see right here. If you want to steal these settings from me, I'll put it inside the AI success lab inside here. So you go to api.slack.apps, go down to from permissions, use the settings below. And I've screenshotted them for you right here. Now, if we go inside our Slack channel, like you can see, we're just going to tag in. And before we do that, we need to select auth tokens and install to unlimited Goldie agency. So you go to own permissions, then you go to install to your Slack channel. So we're going to click on that and we'll install this app to our channel. As you can see, Dev Ryan says, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Appreciate you. And now we've got this set up. We're all good to go on that. All right. Now, if we go back to our Slack channel, so you can see I'm inside my Slack here, we can press app and we are going to type in SEO and SEO bot. All right. As you can see. Now, what you'll see is that we have to add the Slack bot to the channel, right? So we're going to add them like we've invited the SEO bot to the channel and now it's been added. Happy days. Now, if we test this operation, so you can see we've tested the send message with the message text. Hey, you can see that we've posted a message from NA10 directly to Slack. Happy days. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a trigger. So we're going to delete that. I'm going to select a new trigger, and this is going to allow us to monitor any times the bot has been mentioned, right? So this bot on NA10 monitor any mentions of it inside Slack, and if it receives a mention, then it's going to reply back to us. 
So we've got the Slack account, bot app mention. We can select watch the whole workspace if you want to as well. And then what you're going to see is a webhook. So you're going to take that webhook URL, just click it to copy it. You're going to go over to your API settings. So we've got the SEO bot app here. We're going to go down to events. So you can see event subscriptions, enable events, and then we're going to paste in that webhook. We just need to click test inside our Slack trigger. So let's click test. So that's going to listen out. We're now going to retry and that's been verified, right? So we've verified and linked the webhook URL. Now what we need to do is click add bot user event and we can select an event that triggers the automation. So as an example, we've selected app mention inside the NA10 example that I built previously. Select app mention inside yours, for example, as well. So here we go. Then we'll hit save changes and that saves the event of the agent being mentioned, right? So it's linked to our workflow. So if we go back to our channel now and we mention our SEO bot, you can see that's now filled in the mention of the bot and selected it as an event. Beautiful. Now what we need to do in between the Slack trigger and the Slack post message is to add an AI agent. So we're going to add a new module, click the plus sign, click AI agent, connected to the chat trigger mode. We can add some system message. So we'll put, you are a helpful assistant. We'll take the text from the previous module. So you can see it's taken the text from here, plugging it into our AI agent. It's a helpful assistant. And if we go back now, all we need to do is just add a chat model. All right. So I'm going to select open AI. You can use open router if you don't want to pay for APIs. So either way, you can connect OpenAI to your AI agent. We're going to link that AI agent over to Slack over here, right? So let's just test this out. That's got the information from the previous module and passed it and relayed it over here. All right. And the output is, hello, how can I assist you today? Now, what you can also do is add a memory in here. And then inside our Slack message here, inside the message text, we're going to delete that and we're going to take the output from the AI agent, right? So basically when the AI agent responds, it's going to be taking the output and plugging it back into Slack. So let's test that step. This is the Slack channel that we've created. We're going to hit test step like, and you can see it says, hello, how can I assist you today? And that is using the NA10 workflow. Beautiful. So that's basically how we've connected Slack as an AI agent in a really simplistic way. If you want to steal the template from me, I've actually included the Slack template inside the AI success lab, but essentially it's pretty simple and easy to do. If you want to get the settings for each part, let me show you exactly how. So I'll plug that into the AI success lab with all the screenshots. And what I'll also do is inside the AI success lab, I'll include SAP step-by-step -step on exactly how to install this stuff as well from the transcript today. So that's essentially it. That's how you can connect Slack. Now, if you wanted this to go live, for example, what you would actually do is you would make this active as you can see. And then if we go back into the Slack trigger, we can now get the production URL. All right. We're going to go back over to Slack in the API settings over here. And inside the event, we're going to change the webhook to this one instead, because that's the live webhook. Yeah, right. We'll hit save changes. Let's test this out. And now you can see as soon as I posted that message, it's replied to me instantly. Now, if you wanted to make this AI agent more useful, what you could actually do inside the system message here is you could actually just change this. So, for example, you could say you're an SEO expert writing SEO content, the keyword you write the article. All right, just as an example, random example. So we're gonna make this active again. Then we're gonna go back to ads and we'll plug this in. So we're gonna tag in the SEO bot and say keyword equals SEO training Japan. And now you can see that it will respond to us talking about the SEO keyword that we wanna write about and the content, etc. So if we go inside here and we say write an article about SEO training Japan, and we just make sure we tag in the SEO bot. There you go. You've got the article written in markdown format, created the whole thing, 
it's written it down in Markdown. So if we, for example, take this content now, we'll go over to Markdown Live Preview, check the content from the SEO bot we just created, and we've got a full article written and ready to go. Obviously, you would tweak the prompts. This was just a test, but you can see how easy it is to build your own bot inside Slack, link it to NA10, and then whatever you want to automate or whatever you need help with, you can easily have AI integrated directly inside there. NA10 as well, it does have a Discord feature, so you can do the same thing inside Discord. But essentially, that's how it works step by step. So you can easily see how to build Slack bots, how to create them, how to set them up inside NA10. If you want the template, go to the AI Success Lab. It's got all my settings, plus a step by step tutorial on how to build all this stuff, what settings to use. And if you just want to import the Slack template, you can actually download it here. And then if we, for example, created a new workflow inside NA10, we can upload the JSON file that we just created for Slack. AI agent just imported automatically and you just customize it based on the settings for your own app, right? But you know exactly how to do that today. Now, if you need help setting this up, if you want all my best automations, and if you want to make more money with AI and basically automate and save time, you can see how much time you would save with that one single app then feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. Comes with tons of automations like this. It's a community focused on making more money and saving time with AI. And not just that, but it's got an awesome community of people serious about growing with AI. It's got an awesome classroom with all of my best automations and also weekly coaching calls. So you can jump on the weekly coaching calls, get support. You can also DM us if you have any questions and you can post inside the community if you need more help. But the main thing here is you get everything you need to implement and learn how to build your own workflows and automations based on what's working for us. And you can see how powerful this stuff is. So thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check that out and the AI success lab inside the link to the comments in the description. Cheers.